Here at 4 Drive 24-7, we try and push the limits when it comes to four-wheel driving, and this trip does exactly that. <laughs> Let's start steering arm dragging on the ground. Join Jesse and I as we continue our tough Queensland adventure, where we have five days to hit as many tough tracks as possible, with no mechanics and no stops. Cheap cars, hard tracks, good mates. I think I'm about to throw up. Part one of our adventure saw us take on the infamous Glasshouse Mountains, where the rigs were truly put to the test. Woohoo! And one didn't even make it out on its own steam. Nice stop. But we're not done yet. And let's just say if you thought part one was wild, you haven't seen anything yet. No, 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 no. Oh, it's going to be interesting getting out of here, and we've still got a whole way to go. Part two of our Queensland adventure continues the next day in the Glasshouse Mountains, where we've towed Dale out to see if we can fix the issues it's been having. Well, just went for a bit of a parts run in town. I'm just heading back into the bush now in the Luxie. I'm going to meet up with Jesse, who's got Daryl, uh, hopefully, ready to put these new parts in, so we'll see what happens. Hi, hey, mate. Oh, you're back. Well, mate, ready to hook in and see if we can fix this issue? Yeah, I'm pretty keen to try and get it running a bit better. 100%. Last time we saw Daryl, obviously, we towed him out of the bush. We're going to hook in and see if we can change uh, a couple of things on the engine. We're not 100% certain if that's going to fix the problem, but we're going to try anyway because uh, hopefully it'll get her running a little bit better than before. Yeah, We've got plenty 100%. more to show you, so we need this thing going. Let's, Let's hook do in. it, mate. I'm mad keen. We're really not quite sure what's wrong with Daryl, so we're changing a whole bunch of parts to see if it'll help. Jesse's doing the points and the condenser in the distributor, I changed the coil, and we also found under the bonnet a little aftermarket immobiliser that we removed as well. So just another thing we're doing, it's in the list of things we probably should have done before the trip. Um, I'm just changing the fuel filter just as another thing to eliminate, but this fuel hose I noticed was perished. You can see here all these little cracks. So I'm going to replace this hose too. What I'm doing here is I'm not actually wasting old jog zip ties just for the sake of it. I'm just spacing all these leads apart because um, as you can see over here, there's factory spaces. And I've been told by a few people, if, if the leads are actually touching, it, it can affect the ignition and the spark to the lead. So we're spacing them apart as a bit of a process of elimination because we need all the help we can get to get this thing going. Radio, I'm having a truth. Well, we made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget to plug this back in, Jock? Mate, I didn't touch the dizzy. That was all oh, you, baby. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I reckon this could be the problem. See, this way you've always got to check over your mate's work. I, I left Jock, Jock one job to do. He was over this side, changed the coil, and plugged this plug back in. And it you looks didn't like, I didn't know. It looks like you oh, unplugged that plug. Like so well, we'll if just this starts again. straight up, you owe me a six you, pack of beer. We beers. can just try again. I guess we'll never know what happened. <laughs> all right, come on, Daryl. See what she revs to. It's good. Start and stopping. It's revving. Yep. It's smooth. It's ready to wheel. Let's do it. Pack the tools up. How was that? It's never started that good in fly. That's so satisfying. Don't wear it out. Don't wear yeah, the stuff that we need them. Tell you what, pretty stoked that Dale's running better than ever and starting better than ever. Uh, what say we head into another track? I know you had a couple more here that you wanted to show me. Tell you what though, after I had to help you fix Daryl, I think I'm a little bit in front, mate. Yeah, I know, the points would be getting close now. That's why we're gonna have to battle it out in these next few tracks and we've got big things coming too. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, mate. Let's bring it on. Also, on another stunning day in Queensland, eh? Let's do it. And with that, we're straight into another wild track in the glass house. What's that age old saying? One more, no more? Well, mate, this is a deep rut. <laughs> it's definitely a deep rut, but slow and technical. This is all you, mm -hmm. mate. 100%. Well, hopefully there's some traction. I will try and do a bit of a wall ride there if I can. That'll mm -hmm. give me a good indication of what the rest of it's like. Yeah. I'd even start hugging the right, get the ass up a bit. That's nice. Get a little bit more right, I'd say. A little bit more right. That's nice. Very nice line. Perfect, mate. A little bit to the left. A little bit back to the left now. More, more left now. Yeah, that's nice, mate. That's real nice. You made that look too easy. Your front wheel drop in and level out a bit. Yeah, it's about to do it now. Perfect. Now steer to the right. Real slow, real slow. Love the 
getting your work. A bit more right. Yep, that's perfect. You can straighten up a little bit. That's unreal. Holy camera. And just go real slow here. A little bit more to the left. Just going to climb a root. So I wanted to throw it down. Back this way a little bit. Hard this way now. Nice. Now back the other way. Yep, perfect, mate. Nice. Now stand to your right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy! That's just showing off, mate! <laughs> what a weapon. She's at home in this stuff, I reckon. I love it when I can drive stuff with hardly any throttle. Yeah. That's where I belong. Just <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That couldn't have been any smoother. That was per 10 out of 10 drive. Thank you, mate. Well, you're going to bring big, big Dazzer up through here? I'll give it a go, but it's not going to be that pretty. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. This is pretty cool. You can see the witness marks of the tyre. This is my front tyre up here, and then this is my rear tyre. But even though the rear tyre was lower, you can see I've really used the sidewall of the tyre to help me climb back up the wall to bring her back up to here, which will be interesting for Jesse because he's got a bit more rear steer in the patrol. He might find that it'll slip down in there, but we'll see how he goes. All right, big dog, you ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be, mate. That was a crawly boy, mate. Bring her through. First big rut on palm tree. It's good if you've got reductions and good suspension. Daryl doesn't have either. Jock made this look way too easy. Yeah, so. that's nice, mate. Yeah, a bit more right now. Outstanding. Now, Jesse may make this look easy, but with only a front locker in his rear LSD and no reduction yeah, gears, nice. this takes a lot of skill to manoeuvre. You can see how tyre placement is absolutely yep. essential yep, here. Yep, yep. Use that sidewall, baby. Straighten up a bit. Yep, that's outstanding, mate. Yep. And now left hand down a bit. It's going to climb on this left hand side as it comes up the route, but you're good there. It's climbing now. A bit more left as you come forward. Yeah, that's it. More left? Yep, that's perfect. Yep, touch her right. Rear's about to climb up that stump. Tell you what, it makes a big difference with Dara running good Bomber. too. Now to your left. Smear your right. That's it. It's going to lift up here. Beautiful, beautiful. Stay on that line. Stay on that line a little more, a little more. Beautiful! <laughs> How good <laughs> is that? Was that? that? That was, was awesome. a Crawley boy. Oh, Tell what you a what, weapon. Uh, after watching you do it that is yard, no fake. Yeah. You couldn't do that by yourself. You need a spotter you can trust. Yeah. You trusted me, I fully trusted you, and that's all got us through. That's where you got to commit to your yeah. spotter. Yeah. Two totally different cars, smooth, smooth drives. That was unreal. Slow and smooth, smooth as yeah. fast, baby. That was Let's awesome. keep going, eh? Let's do it. Not far up ahead, the ruts continue and they're getting much much bigger. Well, this is very similar to the last challenge. It looks a little bit wetter. It's more clay than sand, so it could be a bit slippery. And both Chuck and I are worried about this first hole. So we're just going to cruise up and see how it feels. Probably go that way a little bit. Just see how it feels when the front comes up. That's good. That'll hold you when this front wheel goes in. That's perfect. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. That's really nice. Really nice. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the right. The back's going to slide in, you're just going to have to drive through it. Steer a bit more right to keep the front out. Oh, stop there. Stop, stop, stop. I just didn't want it to slide in real quick. Yeah, that's okay. Right, that will give another go. I'll just square up to it again. Yeah, perfect. This rut is super risky as you need to ride the bank quite high on that right side, but if you slip in, you could easily put the vehicle on its side, which is something we really want to avoid. Keep coming, that's the perfect amount of pace. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yeah, stop there. Huh. I think the safest thing to do, right, don't move your wheel right now, is just put your winch on, because if that back slips in, your wheel will go over. It, it won't be a winch to pull you up to hold the car, and then you drive the rest. Well, this feels wild. The real slow lean, and Jesse's saying that if it slips in anymore, I'll know about it, and uh, she'll have a little nap, which we don't want to happen. So he's just going to hook the winch up just to bring my nose down and I should probably, hopefully, drive through it. Yeah, that's much better, yeah. And just steer left as you go. Yeah, more left, more left. That's perfect, mate. It's climbing out, it's climbing out. Beautiful, mate. Now back this way a little bit. Yeah, stop there. You can probably stop there. Well, that wasn't really a winch because Jock was stuck. It was just to secure the car and, uh, Never be afraid to put your winch on a stupid angle. I hooked him up nearly 90 degrees because it was to hold the car, not as a pull. You don't always have to go straight in front of the car. Now let's watch him drive the rest of this. Radio Jock, how are your jocks after that, mate? Uh, uh, are you wearing jocks? I'm not wearing jocks. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a little bit to the right and start creeping forward. Yeah. 
Oh. Well, you're in there. See, see more to the right. Keep, that's perfect, mate. Just drive that. A little bit more to the right if you can. That felt wild. That was wild. <laughs> Good drive, though. You still made it look easy. Oh, uh, did I? <laughs> Oh mate, that was uh, a bit touch and go for a second there, yeah. but it was good. Are you going to drive down right that? I'll give it a go. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> mate, this is going to feel a little bit wild in uh, old Daryl, but uh, we'll spot you through and I reckon we'll do what we did with me before, get you to a safe spot just to hold the nose of the vehicle down. So we'll see what happens, eh? Yeah, I'm a bit worried, but I trust you mate, I trust you. So yeah, hopefully we get up as smoothly as you did. We'll see what happens, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, big angles. Just means you're right. Just, yep. Straighten up a bit. That feel wild? Yeah. Oh, I think you're going to slip into the front here. Do I need to go down more? Yeah, your tyre's pretty much just like on its side now. The same things happened to Jesse and he slipped into the rut, putting Daryl on a pretty wild angle. Oh, I'd stop there, mate. You're pretty much on your side. You stitched me up. <laughs> no, I didn't. It slipped in. Can I reverse out of that? Oh, uh, you can try. You can try. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're pretty much on your side, man. <laughs> I wanted to drive that. <laughs> well, that was a valiant effort, Jesse. But Daryl is now resting on his side, and all jokes aside, we need to get this vehicle back down on all fours, because if it goes any further over, it could do some serious damage. I'm not too sure how we're going to score this one, mate. So what we've done with this winch setup is we're essentially just pulling the back corner of his vehicle down, but so that we get a nice angle on it, because you want it to be pulling that way, the way it's lifted up. I'm pretty much at 90 degrees to Jesse, and we've run out to a tree, and we've done a change of direction through a winch ring back to his back corner. It's a pretty nice angle too. It's the ropes in a good position, so there shouldn't be much load on the system, but uh, hopefully it'll just be enough to bring that back corner down so Jesse can reverse out safely. Right, mate, ready to winch? Yeah, winch in, see what happens, eh? Recoveries like these need to be done right. Make sure you take the time to slow down, get the angles right in your winch, use safety equipment, and don't be afraid to take it slowly and reset if you need to. Yeah, maybe stop there and I'll see if I can get it started. Watch that. Jesse's managed to get Daryl started, so he'll now be able to help the winch by slowly reversing while the winch pulls the rear down, and it seems to be working. Yeah, uh, maybe if you winch out, I'll just try and drive forward the level out of it. Textbook recovery, mate. Thanks for the help. That was textbook. Outstanding, mate. Nice and smooth. Love it. All I've done really is made it match the other side. Yeah, 100%. That's pretty impressive yeah. considering it was laying on its side. And this was fully folded under. I thought this is going to be, that's that's sweet. Yeah, 100%. Your rear bar saved you. Yeah. All right, mate, take two. You ready? I'm ready when you are, mate. Bar work. I can't stress it enough. If you're wheeling tracks like this, it's simply one of the most important mods you can make to look after your vehicle. Your front's lined up perfectly, though. You're almost to where my front slipped in. Your rear's kind of holding you up. Your back right, but keep coming forward. Yep, keep going on that, keep going on that. Oh, uh, yeah, the back, it's that back right, it's just starting to slip down. Do you want to hook it up now before I slide in and dip out? All right, have a smidge of a drive. Yep, sliding in. Touch your left hand down, mate. Yep, that's it, just going to slide in here. Let's do a bit of ride if you can. Yeah, that's it. Oh no! Beady dog. Let's just pop the bead. But he's gonna try and get the front out of this bank. There we go. Yeah, so the valve actually come out. We don't know whether that's what caused the rim to pop off or just because that was the rim in the bank, but luckily I've got spares. We're gonna put it through, bit of spit on it, and pull it through with our tire deflator. Dang. Yay! That was unsatisfying. <laughs> Before we tackle this track, I want to quickly show you guys a couple of new mods I'm super excited about. 
So we just jumped off a track and before we move on, I'm super keen to show you a couple of mods I've done to Luxie recently because it's been a fair while since you've seen it. So come with me, and I'll take you through it. So obviously I've got my canopy back on for this. It's gotten a bit of a touch up on both doors. And then on the top of the canopy is a 100 watt projector solar panel. It's one of their slimline ones. And the way I've mounted that down is it's on some core flute because these slimline solar panels, these semi-flex ones, they need still need a bit of air like all solar panels. Down here, one of the main things. So it's now got tube guards. You might remember on the last trip we took the Luxie on, I ruined both my alloy guards probably in the space of about 50 meters. So this uses 32 MB tube that's welded to the scrub bar here and comes across and underneath and it's welded to the tray. It's super strong. I've pretty much had the vehicle laying on both of these on each side and they've held up really well. So definitely reckon that was a good investment. Right, now this is probably one of the biggest mods I've done. This is a new projector 12 volt system. So I finally got lithium. One of the reasons I love it is because weight, everyone hears me harp on about how important weight is, but this battery is only like 12, 13 kilos, which is mint. And the battery has 150 amp discharge, which means that that can handle up to a pretty much a 2000 watt inverter off a single battery, which is a big deal. I don't think many lithiums can do that. I won't be drawing anywhere near that in my system. I basically run a fridge and camp lights and charge tool batteries and stuff like that. So this will be more than enough for me. So I'm pretty stoked with how it's coming together. It's not finished yet, but are they ever really finished? For now, it's working really well, and I'm keen to get back on the tracks and do some more wheeling. All right, Jock, enough frothing over the Luxie. They get it. <laughs> Moving on. Palm tree really is the track that keeps on giving. And while we may be clear of the slippery clay, up ahead is a series of huge rock steps and ruts that need absolute precision to be driven. Let me just stay up. You're going to have to drive in the hole for you to get the puck over. Yeah, keep staying at that. Keep staying at that. That's perfect. Now your back's in a little bit, but it might climb out. Yeah, yeah that's good. Just keep coming at that. We'll see if the back climbs up. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. A little bit to the right. That's unreal. Yeah, back over to the right. Hard right, hard right. Hard. Oh. Yeah, see if it'll drive it. Yep. Yeah, oh, stop there. Oh, I just slipped in further, I think. Yeah. The challenge here is the rut diverts yeah. to the left, which means you have to cross over a massive step up on the right, putting the vehicle on some gnarly angles. You might be able to, yeah, you'd climb, probably climb out there. Steer a little bit of right now. Yep, beautiful, mate. Keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. The back is about to come up. If it's on your guard, it can't go any further. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> but just go real slow. Jesse, mate, I don't think I have a choice at this point. This feels absolutely wild. Is that gonna climb out? It's just talking over. Yeah, stop there. The only other, you're either gonna have to um back all the way out and get it up, or you can try and drive in the rut the whole way. I just don't know how your door's gonna go. Yeah, righto. I'll come back down. Yeah. It's not there. Keep creeping, 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 creeping. Yeah, stop there. Yep, keep coming right, keep coming right. Beautiful, that's good, mate, that's good. Yep, keep coming out, straighten up a little bit. Just trying to get this back to climb up. I think you've got it now, hard left now, hard left. Beautiful driving. Keep staying hard left, that's unreal. Yep. Now slowly back to the right. Don't. This is right in the edge, so you're gonna go hard right now. Yep. The back might slip in, that's all. Yep, hard right as you can. Keep coming, you try, and, you try and do it in one motion. That's just hanging on, oh my god. Yep, now back to the left, back to the left. Perfect, mate, perfect. <laughs> now good. Again, another masterclass in the art of spotting. Good work, Jesse. You give it a little feed now. Back to you. Yep, beautiful, mate. Yeah, buddy! Oh, that was amazing spotting. On these sort of tracks, you need to trust in your mate in front of you. <laughs> completely. Well, that just come down to perfect auto control on that last time. Nearly slipped in. You gave it the gas at the right time and it just stayed out of the rut. What a drive. I've got my work cut out for me. Last big challenge on palm tree track. Down that lock, you might need to drive into that hole a little more just to try and get that, get that one high. 
need your left. Don't get that back away, it's a top climb up. Down that. Beautiful. Fine for me, girl. Alright, we're going to start to come across. So you uh, come left hand down, you'll steer into that hole. That's it, well you're pretty much riding the wall now. Try and get this back side to stay up. Yeah, I, is that front left in the hole? No. Nah. I sort of want to drive, I drive you into the hole and then out of it to keep this rear out. Probably. Yeah, well you're, like your front left's not in the hole, your front left's high. Get that to your left. Not used to this rear steer thing. Yep, stay hard left, mate. That's it. I'll be too far in. Yeah. Straight up a bit. Ah, uh, that back left's gonna, probably gonna slip. Same as you, eh? Yep. Yeah, it's just climbing a wall there. There you go. Yeah, that's working. Stay on that, stay on that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just slipped in that hole. It's working. Can you hear any more right? <laughs> That's commitment to yeah, the top mate. of the sea. Oh, I admire your confidence, Jesse. That was a ripper of a drive. That dipped out. Yeah. Will I be able to bump it? Yep. Back it back? Come, uh, yeah, just go back a bit, come a little bit of right hand down as you come forward. It's just soft mush. Yeah, back more or? No, nah, that's good there. And right? Yep. A proper bump. Oh, maybe it's a bit harder. It's the actual diff tube. Axle oh, tube. Yeah. Now if I see hard left, do you reckon it will stay up? Yeah, but don't go back any further. Yep. That's it, now right hand down. I'm just trying to get the Are bum you... over. Yeah. I got the bomb over now. Steer to me, steer to me. Steer to me. Yep, that's it. Beautiful, mate. Well, definitely not as graceful, but I just committed and yep. sent him up there. He's no curly boy, but that's all get, right. Get her done. Got yeah. it, did. <laughs> right, I was mate. impressed. That wheels in the air just kept turning and. Yep. Yeah. And she wanted it. There was yeah. traction there. It felt high, was it high? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. That second one, it was like, oop. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was mint. Probably didn't look as nice as Jock, so I had to commit a few times, but tell you what, cheap cars, hard tracks, good mates, good times. I'm gonna smile for weeks after this trip. Mate, Glassy has turned it on. Yeah, How mate, sick was that? That's Glassy done. How good was that? That was unreal. It was awesome, and the best part was like, we've only really scratched the surface, there's so much more oh, here. There's hey. so many more tracks here. We can spend, spend a lot more time here checking out, but how about we air up the tyres, put the mud flaps back on and uh, get on the road? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh man, the glass house truly is a hot spot for tough wheeling and I can't wait to get back here. But we still got so much to do and we're going to point our noses north towards Kenilworth where we have a sick campsite lined up as well as a few other wild challenges to tackle. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's giveaway time and Big Red Gear have an awesome prize pack to give away. You could win a set of spotlights for your four wheel drive, a light bar, a pair of work lamps and a merch pack. To enter, all you gotta do is jump into the comments below and tell us a time where a set of spotties would have been real handy on your four wheel drive. Good luck and maybe I'll see you out on the tracks with a brand new set of Big Red Spotties on your four wheel drive, how good? With the light quickly dropping behind the Kenilworth hillside, we pull in for what will be our home for the night. If there's one thing you can rely on in Queensland is that no matter where you camp, it's always going to be spectacular. With the swag rolled out and camp set up, we sit around the fire to enjoy the rest of what was a wicked day on the tracks. And to top it off, I'm going to treat Jesse to a little cook up. I've been uh, getting into cooking steaks recently, so I thought it'd be cool to just cook up a few nice steaks for the boys, the camera crew and Jesse. There's nothing like cooking a steak on an open fire. Chuck some veg in there and you have yourself a classic steak dinner. Beautiful. I'm not sure if it's a steak that's so flavoursome or the blade on your Leatherman, mate, but it's a good dinner. You've done well. That's all right. 
Stay nice and tender. Mm. Oh, what a day. Time for some shut eye. Because tomorrow we take on a challenge that I reckon will scare Jesse even more than putting a vehicle on its side. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the latest episode where I took the Luxie up to Queensland to verse Jesse and Dale. Right now, the biggest sale of the year for Drive Fest has got another week. So if you've been meaning to get yourself some brand new four drive products, your vehicle, make sure you jump on it quick because stock isn't gonna last long and check out some of the stuff you can get. You can get a pair of Tread GTs and save 30% off them as well with the mounting kit. I gave my treads an absolute hiding in Queensland, but that's not enough for you. Snatch recovery kits, you can save 120 bucks on them as well. That's my personal one, as you can see. It also got a decent workout, plus there's heaps of other awesome deals, like 25% off castor oil as well. So if you want to get some brand new products for your four-wheel drive, maybe give it a bit of love. Jump on it quick at 4 Drive Fest, 4Drive247.com, and don't miss out. We've got the morning routine pretty down pat on this trip, and after a cuppa around the fire and the swags rolled up, we figured it's as good a time as any to check over the vehicles to see how they've fared so far. Well, I wasn't actually supplied with a key with this rental car, so some people might think this is damaged, but I actually think it's part of the security system. Um, the barwick now touches the door, so if someone is to open that when I'm sleeping, it makes a horrible noise, and I'm aware. Well, uh, this guard's probably the worst. I'm not sure how I'm going to hide this, I'm sure. And I might just park it against his garden or fence or something. The same rock that got caught between Jock's tyre and rear guard actually flicked up in here and did most of this damage and got lodged in here. Well, overall, considering what we've driven, I think Daryl's fared pretty well. I've just added a bit of character for Sean's car, I think. And I reckon Sean probably should just cop a bit of that panel damage considering I had to spend two days working on his car to actually be able to drive it here. All right, Jesse. Well, I'll leave that for you two to discuss later. But we better make tracks because with the day we have planned, we're going to need all the time we can get. Well, I'll tell you what, one thing I love about Queensland is you've got some tough as nails tracks, but you've even got some more spectacular camping. And that spot last night, absolute beauty, mate. Oh yeah, that campsite was unreal and there's plenty more like that around here, right? You never get bored of them. 100% mate. And uh, while we're in Kenilworth, I figured it'd be rude not to just poke our noses up a couple little tracks up here. So let's hook into a cheeky track and then head into town for a sweet treat afterwards. What do you reckon? Yeah, that sounds good to me, mate. Let's do it. Holy heck, I think my man is going to be my friend here. I'll see how we go. Mate, you're making that look way too easy. Definitely a hill of consequence, but uh, you'll have fun with that one in the old TV. <laughs> Let her rip. Steep hill, Kenilworth is what they're famous for. Hopefully they will keep flooding along up here. Ah, nothing like a full send in the morning to get the blood pumping. But up ahead it gets even steeper. Rightio, Jock's coming up this bit of track and probably this first 50 or metres or so is actually quite tricky. There's, there is lines here, but it's going to be Quite the job to piece it all together and make it look nice. So let's see how he goes. All right, another Kenilworth Hill of Consequence. Flexi dog. Ah, oh, just as I suspected, diffed out. Even on his little little boy diffs. You're doing a good job, mate. Keep grading it down for me. I appreciate <laughs> yep. it. With my mini Hilux diffs. If you if you steer like more right into the bank, you might get it. Uh, I think you're gonna. If you want to drive that line, you have the backpack into a glass house drive. <laughs> no, I've had enough of glass house drives. <laughs> Maybe I'll come over that way a bit more. Yeah, that's where I thought you were gonna go. <laughs> I was just having a little play. See what happens. All right, maybe my line choice wasn't perfect. Round two, it's straight up the guts. There we go. That was way easier, I should have gone that way. Righto, well Jock tried this hard right hand line, so I thought I might as well give it a go first too. Oh, he's going the naughty boy line. 
fight the fight last line, dog. Yeah. Yeah, but you just gotta drive like a GQ driver, don't ya? Like I wasn't even there. And he also showed me up on the line I tried. Guess I should uh, stop talking smack. <laughs> oh man, Jesse made that look easy. That's one more point to Daryl, which I think means he's ahead. I guess I'm going to have to step it up on the next challenge. And it's a big one. As we make our way off the beaten path towards Kenilworth Bakery, Jesse suddenly comes on the radio with news that he's completely lost steering in old Daryl. Well, I don't know if you can hear that noise, but Daryl's steering was feeling a bit funny through all these bends. And um, that's Daryl's steering arm dragging on the ground. So I'm just trying to slowly drive up to get in a better spot. I guess a tough trip is never complete without a roadside repair. Well, there's a little bit of windy roads when we're on our way back to town for our big challenge. And um, I was just about to get in the radio and tell Jock that my steering felt a little bit funny and then bang. There was a bit of a bang and my steering felt really funny and there was a grinding noise in the road. Luckily, there's a little bit of dirt to pull off up here and the tie rod has popped out. It should have a split pin in it, which is weird. That might have rattled out too. There's definitely one on this side and the nuts come off. A uh, pretty lucky spot for it to happen at low speed. So we're going to um, check our spares box and see if we've got something to fix this with. What's happened here is the driver's side tie rod end has come off the steering knuckle, which means Jesse's only got one wheel steering on the left hand side. It's an easy fix, but because the tie rod end has dragged along the road, it means the thread's a little bit damaged, so we're just going to run the grinder on the end to chamfer the end of the thread so that we can chuck a new castle nut back on and put a split pin through it. Do you reckon your nuts will be the same thread? You'd I don't know. So. You'd hope so. It would help so. Oh, boys! We on? we on? Boys! Boys, boys, boys! I don't really want to admit this, Jock, but I think your tour to spare parts box has saved the day. If I had my full kit here, I would, yeah. but because it's only a rental car, I didn't bring all my tools because it, it's meant to come with some roadside assistance thing. But. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you got to call Sean up um, yeah. and he'll come and get you and fix your car. I doubt that's going to be happening because he's probably fishing or something right now. Probably. Yeah, he's <laughs> probably like, ha, he can do it, Daryl. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's better. Steer the wheels and they actually turn. Oh, now that's all fixed and you can steer again. How's she driving, mate? Oh, uh, mate, good as ever. I don't know how many um, lives horses have. I know cats have got dying, but Dale's definitely going through a few of his. Infinite horsepower. Well, mate, we've wheeled hard, we've fixed vehicles, we've driven up steep hills. Now it's time for probably the biggest challenge uh, of the trip, I reckon. I can tell you right now that we're more nervous for this one than any of the tracks we tackled so far. Well mate, Kenilworth Country Bakery, pretty famous for one thing, and you can see all the plates around us, the one kilo donut. Yeah. Which we just got, we just got two of them. We couldn't say no. Sean and Graham have come here a few times and they've always shied away from the one kilo, yeah. so I thought, perfect time, hard tracks, we're a bit tougher than they are. Yeah, so we young thought bucks, like show them up. Mm. We haven't eaten much food today to try no. and prepare for this. <laughs> It's so big, I still man. don't think we're going to be prepared. No, it's like all these plates here are people who've completed it. It's got their times underneath and then a little quote. I'm a bit more nervous for this than I was for Big Red. But <laughs> Definitely. Uh, do you reckon you're going to be able to finish it? Because you're versing me and I eat yeah. disgusting amounts of food. I don't even know if I'm going to finish I'm, it. I'm worried versing you. you. I've seen you consume food. It's quite I scary. Do. It's but a bit I have gross. sort of been starving myself. All right, mate. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Are you just going to start for one end? No. I'm You're going, going to do the top tactic. bit. Yeah. I'm going to different tactic. I'm just going to go into it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. The cream's cold. <laughs> the dough's really dense. It's like eating a sourdough roll. My tactic is I have a big mouth, so I'm just getting into it. You're going more strategic. I'm just trying to get it done, Sam. <laughs> yeah. You're playing the long game. I'm going in hard and fast. If only he drove your car this hard. <laughs> it's like the opposite. It was a role reversal here. Yeah. I'm nearly a struggle street already. <laughs> I think Jock's got the upper hand. But yeah. he's slowing down. I think he's gone a bit too hard too soon. Yeah. Time will tell. Any ladies watching this who want a hot date? Oh. You're literally half finished. I'm really starting to struggle now. Oh my God. I'm getting rallied here. You've still got like a quarter left. I've got three quarters left. Mate. Stop filling up with cream and get into it. 
Don't you worry, mate. You're slowing down a bit. It's at this point that things really do start to take a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's caught. Oh. I think I'm about to throw up. You have a long way to go, my friend. You're like dipping it in like a, um, a cob loaf. I love cob loaf. Mm. But I think you're just filling up on cream. <laughs> well, I didn't want the big mouthful of cream at the end. That would make you feel sick, like you're about to be. You're already going to feel sick anyway, mate, so might as well <clears throat> lean into it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's, my tactic of the start has failed. Now I'm just doing whatever. Oh man. Stop burping, it's gonna make me spew on you. Trying to clear space in my tummy. Oh, oh god. You can't go hard, look at that. <laughs> the camera crew are laughing at us. <laughs> I reckon tomorrow the camera crew tries the one kilo sausage roll challenge and we'll film you guys. No, that's not how it's worked. Well, I had to move. Jocko's getting aggro. Worried for my safety. He's in the timeout corner over there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I need to be screwed up here. So. Yeah. No, I think Jocko's got it in him. Give him 15 minutes. There isn't much left. So I'm just going to chill for a second <laughs> and then just finish that last little bit and I'll be good. <laughs> Jesse has about 900 grams left. Like there's not much there. You're probably looking at it and thinking like, that's one big bite. But no, it's... I don't know how you were feeling. <sighs> Is it safe to sit here, mate? <laughs> <laughs> that's out of control. What's that? One hour, 18 minutes, with your little hike around the shop. That's pretty good. It's really shook you. I didn't. I thought you were a food man. I thought I was a food man too. I like uh, to be honest. I thought I would fare much better than I <laughs> just have. What do you reckon? Would you try this challenge, mate? Let us know in the comments below because I am going to go have a nap for a good little minute. <laughs> I will say though, Jesse, mate, that's a point back to me. <laughs> After a little nap from the sugar crash, we decided it's time to push back south to what is one of my favorite types of wheeling, a wild creek run that will really put the Luxie and the GQ to the test. It's super slow and technical, and you don't just have to think about wheel placement, but also where your diffs are at all times. It's a really good type of wheeling to hone your skills and really learn the outsides of where your vehicles are and where your tyres are going to be. This is what I love. Just nice, slow, controlled tyre placement. Sweet, that was fun. There are some big rocks in this creek. If you can imagine the complete opposite of that, smooth and steady, that's going to be Daryl. I'm on the clutch a lot here, trying to reduct it. Jock is smiling ear to ear, so this sort of suited Jock's car a bit better, and Glasshouse suited the GQ a bit better for the send, but regardless, we're going to have fun. Taking a few different lines to him, just because I've got bigger patrol gifts too. Lucky you put that rear bar on, mate. Yeah. A few bangs and clangs on making it up. Big time. Loves it. There's a couple of essential mods you need for a creek run like this, and one of those is definitely bar work. And as we push forward, it looks like the bar work on both vehicles is going to get a proper workout. Well, it definitely looks a lot different to last time I was here. It's way washed down. I've also never seen this much fresh water running down the creek, but I think it's been no match for Jock's Highlights. Like it's built for stuff like this. All right, this is going to be an interesting step because it looks relatively straightforward, but at the top there is a hole that your front tyres are going to go into once you start climbing, which means you could 
get stuck with all four wheels trying to climb something. We'll see how we go. I think you're only allowed to use second gear in here. Second gear? Yeah, you're not allowed to use first. It's too oh. cheating. So far, the Luxie's doing what she does best. Flexing up over the rocks and just using those reduction gears and torque to ease up the big steps. Well, you can probably hear I'm frothing. I've done a lot of stuff to this car, but hands down, one of the best mods, depending on your style of wheeling, is a set of low range gears in the transfer case. Because it's not just about how fast the vehicle drives, it's also the torque generated at that speed too. Like I drove through that without my foot on the throttle. Just the vehicle torquing up the tires, getting as much grip as it could and just flexing through. And by crikey, it feels good. <laughs> well, I got a couple of points up on Jock while we're at Glasshouse. Sort of just being a GQ thing and feeding it. But I think Jock's gonna get those points back very quickly in this creek. Got my work cut out for me in here. It may not be as graceful as the Luxie, but so far, Jesse is steering Daryl well up these steps. Solid effort, mate. That's nice, mate. Yeah, that's you. Oh. Crawl it, don't stall it. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. It came up quite nicely. It was only one stall. And I don't really think that was a clutch control stall. That was just Daryl not having much down low. Not enough bunty, yeah. Kind of like how you didn't finish the donut. Daryl didn't have enough power to get up Pretty there. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah fair enough. All right, let's keep going, let's eh? Let's do it. Jeff, are you trying to scare me up there? Because you're doing a good job, mate. Just having a few little goes, there's a few big diff clanger rocks here. I'm gonna jump out and give you a spot, mate. Hard this way, hard, 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 hard. Just stop there, I'll just chuck a rock in. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, hard, hard, hard right. Hard right. Yep. Beauty. That was a tricky little section there. Well, that showed you that even in the most set up cars for rocks, if you haven't got a spotter, you can still struggle. I missed that rock by like two mil on my door. All right, that's the Luxie up. And almost put a little love mark in the door. It's going to be interesting to see how Jesse navigates these rocks. Ah, that's one way to do it. That's it. That's pretty undercut. Yeah. Do you want to come back down, down a bit more? That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. You're really down like a pro. Rock crawler. Yeah, I'm a rock crawler. I'm more of a rock dancer, but I can't crawl when I need to. Well, it's safe to say that we have two very different styles of wheeling, mate. Which style of wheeling do you prefer? Let us know. It's clear that from all the rain Queensland's had over the past 12 months that this creek run has seen a lot of change. And you can see here that some massive rocks have washed into it from the cliffs beside it. Squeeze here and a tight squeeze here. And this hole, I don't know if you can see it, but it's probably about a metre deep of water. So Jeff's going to have to really pick his line through here so he doesn't smash any panels. Yeah, that's what I normally do. You can't be a lot more level because this wheel won't be up. Steer, steer this way and just start creeping forward. Yeah. Now you can steer up there if you want. Yeah. Nicely done, Jock McDonald. A 
that's a tricky little section. Right, well, I'm taking a totally different line to Jock because I've got a wagon and I don't have a tray. Oh, wow. See that's an interesting line. I tell you what, lucky they build those GQs tough. The way Jesse's driving them, it's unbelievable the punishment that that thing can be put through. No wonder some people reckon they're the best four-wheel drive ever made. I've never said that, it's just some people say it. That's nice, mate. Do you want to stay on this wall? No, not at all. Okay, steer hard left when you're there ready. There was method to my madness. Yeah. <laughs> oh. you, can't, you can't buy this paintwork, you know? Yeah. It's hard to get insurance for, so i got to protect the back. Drill different, cool seeing a difference in cab widths dictating the I line you I can't be a reckless ute driver like you. Yeah, narrow dog ute driver you mean. Reckless, I'd say. Ooh, that rear bar just <laughs> paid for itself again. Nice. I'll put you up on this same rock over here. Stay on that, mate. That's good, a little bit more on that. Now start to steer right. More right. Yeah, that's perfect. Wild angles. Yeah. Smidge your right. You're just on the log, so you're probably going to drop now. I just don't want to get the bum to come too far across because I'm rear steering. Oh, yeah, true. But it should fly, man. That's off the log now. There you oh, go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I was a bit worried that after watching Jock go through there, but good spotter. Cheers, mate. See? I couldn't have done that without you. Friendship. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> With the sun starting to dip behind the trees, we make tracks up the creek which is looking more and more wild the further we push. But after a couple of little crossings, we come up against what could just be a showstopper. Well mate, that is a decent landslide and a half. It's very big and it's kind of blocking where we want to go. 100%. It looks like you probably could get around, but I feel like further up there, we went for a bit of a walk. Uh, you probably need a buggy to get through yeah, the next the, bit. The, the creek has changed a lot since the rain. You can tell a huge amount of water's come through here and moved out rocks where you need to drive mm. and stuff like that. So I yep. reckon we might turn around. Well, that's a damn shame, but that's the nature of this business sometimes. You never know what condition tracks could be in, but half the fun is finding out. Mate, I'll tell you what, this has been an epic Queensland adventure. We've done Glass House, a whole bunch of other tough tracks, checked out Kenilworth. I uh, nearly died eating a one kilo donut and then uh, a cheeky little creek run. I've got a question for you though, mate. Patrol or Hilux, what do you reckon has been the MVP of this trip? Yeah, to be honest, uh, when, when, I, when I left Sean's house after picking up Daryl, I was I had no faith in him, but the manual swap, that, that helped a lot. Once we got him running pretty well, I tell you what, surprised me, every truck we did, even in this creek, you drove it cleaner, but some of the stuff it drove up, it was unreal. So yeah, with the variety of tracks we've done, the uh, Hilux and the Nissan, I reckon they're pretty even, hey? Yeah, 100%. I was honestly surprised. I thought Daryl was just going to give us problems the whole trip. And once we got her a bit tidied up, he uh, he ran pretty well. So I reckon, I'll tell you what, I reckon it's pretty even as well. And uh, either way, I had a ball. Well, that's all we've got time for. I've had an absolute ball, mate. I know you have as well. Definitely, most definitely. And the best part is, we've now done tough tracks in New South Wales, we've done tough tracks in Queensland, and we're not done yet. What it's do you reckon? It's about time we head south next time, I reckon. Absolutely. So, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Right, we roll the swags yeah, out and get a camp good. going. Right, yeah. Do you reckon I can drive Daryl tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I want to try and keep the momentum to carry me through. You got the shotgun ceremony? No. You told me not to bring too many tools. Well, mate, got the whole plate on. <laughs> Good job. I said bring tools. Yeah, not too many. I said bring tools. I got RSCQ, man. I don't need tools. <laughs> right, I will make the slide <laughs> <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, get it together, All right. mate. <clears throat> He's not running good. <laughs> Welcome to the GQ lab. Bravo 6, going dark. See, the difference between Toyota and Nissan drivers is when a Nissan driver is in need, a Toyota driver will still help. But when it's a Toyota driver in need, you'll just sit there and throw rocks at me. 
It ain't good. I need some points and some condenser too. He's lost it. Ooh. He's control drivers, man, I tell ya. My chassis went crack as the tree went smack. Well, mate, I have an absolute ball. Sorry. You there have you an absolute ball? I have balls. Yeah. Hey, Jock. Hello? Nothing. Um, I recall before we even started, you needed a hammer and a rattle gun, and oh, yeah, I, yeah, I brought you help. eight. No, fair enough. You're right. Take back your mean words. <laughs> Gonna have our work cut out for us over the next track tomorrow, eh? Sounds good to me. Have a feed. Go have a sleep. Have a big day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ruined that. Man. <laughs> have a feed. Have a sleep. <laughs> have a set in the morning. We are simple men. <laughs>